A wild crime story in Rostraver Township, a neighborhood locked down for most of the day after a man holed up in his house with a gun. Jennifer Barrasso has the story of what happened. No one got hurt in this six hour standoff here on Frederick Street. State police say the 32 year old suspect Joseph Krozoff, he surrendered to police after they used tear gas. He walked through that front door and surrendered to them. Police say this all started after he allegedly asked his dad to borrow a gun so he could take out his mother. It's this crazy. I've never seen anything like it. For hours, this neighborhood near Bell Vernon Cemetery in Ross Traver Township, Westmoreland County, turned upside down. Nothing but cops and SWAT team, heavy machinery. I mean, it's crazy. Residents asked to shelter in place or leave for their own safety. Police said, yeah, there's somebody back here with a gun and they, they, they were trying to get him out of the house. The state police cert team responded, assisting Ross Traver Township Police. Heavy equipment brought in and a drone. According to the criminal complaint, state police say the suspect, 32 year old Joseph Krosoff of Ross Traver Township, allegedly texted his dad asking him if he could borrow his gun so he could take out his mother. Also in the text, Krosoff allegedly said he would hire a hitman if needed. Krosoff police say then went to his dad's house in Bell Vernon and things got physical. Krosoff allegedly put his dad in a headlock and struck him in the face repeatedly. Krosoff, they say, found the Colt revolver and left. The dad called 911. Police later found Krosoff's vehicle at his house on Frederick Street. Police established a perimeter. At one point, they talked to him, but say he refused to come out. We also heard a flashbang. Finally, just before 8, the suspect surrendered and was taken into custody. State police tell me Joseph Krosoff is charged with theft, robbery, terroristic threats, and more. His mother tells me she's glad no one got hurt. In Westmoreland County, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK TV News.